got a box from British Cost Systems, and let's take a look at it. And open it with a definitely not oversized knife. Seriously, too many packing means I hate packing units. These things are so annoying. I'll save these for later. Bridgecom Systems, social media. Package with a handwritten note. Thank you, Bridgecom. And then inside the box, lo and behold, the Skybridge Hotspot. Off to the side. Nothing else in the box. I can throw that right there. And here's the sky bridge. Now it does look like this was a repackaged box, and I can tell that this box looks like it's been used before. So I wonder if this is a used sky bridge hotspot. So if we look in here, we have the sky bridge plus quick start guide. Move that to the side. Here it says, warning, do not remove the SD card from your SkyBridge Plus unless instructed to do so by BridgeCom Technical Support. Screw that now. Um, so SkyBridge, that right there. This is, oh, crushed out, not a toy. Very nice. Because honestly, I think all my radios are toys. We got a USB-C cable, nice. Little Ethernet cable, love it. A um, uh, you seeing this? Really cheap, interesting antenna. Um, oh, very nice, very nice. I love how Bridge Town includes all the accessories that you'd possibly ever need to throw it in your car. So this four cigarette lighter. We have this uh, adapter for your wall. And then in here is what? Bridgecom. Now let's think about everything. A power bank. Very, very nice. So you can run it on the go. Which is very, very cool of them to think of something like that. So with that, we can move this box to the side and start setting it up. First, let's get the sky bridge. What in the world? Okay. Interesting. So, if we look up close, we see there's a big gap in between the antenna here. We got a nice screen. I thought the screen would be a little bit bigger from the videos that I saw. We got the back with the SD card right there. So little just opening right here for some reason. FCC tested. We got two, two USB 2.0, two USB 1.0 or 2.0, and this is 3.0. Then we got an, I, what I assume is a gigabit Ethernet jack. And then if we look here, we got USB C power, two micro HDMI, and then a headphone jack. So this case feels really good. It's better than the old style case, and I believe this is a Pi 4. I think they upgraded it from a Pi 3B to a Pi 4, which is really, really nice. I want to do the first thing that it tells me not to do, and that's to unplug this micro SD card. So this is what has Pi Star on it. Just leave that in there for now. Install the little antenna on it. Okay, okay, a little better. I still don't like that hole. It's really weird. Um, I'm going to plug this over Ethernet for chaos's uh, sake. I don't want chaos, so I'm just going to actually plug into Ethernet to remove all the headaches. Oh, 
I'm gonna leave this in here, and then I will also have this to wear. It's powered on by the power bank that it comes with, so you can see it before we actually set it up. Plug this end over here. The seat port. Okay, it's power and it says initializing. Right now. So let's go take a look at the screen real quick. So, it's a pretty nice screen. It's very, does it doesn't look pixelated, which is a really good thing. I hate screens that look pixelated. And uh, it's initializing, so that's good. So with that, we will go plug it in into the network and um, uh, see what we can do from there. The Sky Bridge up and running. Got a Tapijas plugged into the network. All very good. Let and I want to go configure it. So we got the Skybridge hooked up here, and I got D Star DMR and Y stuff all enabled, and um, uh, it should all be working good. And we're gonna take my um, uh, ICOM ID52 new video coming soon um, on this radio, and we're going to see about connecting to some reflectors. So let's I'm gonna unlink my current reflector just to make sure. Not linked. Okay, it says D start there at the top. Really cool. It is 4 p.m. Oh, it's not 4 p.m. Skybridge. You got the time wrong. I'm sorry. Um, it's uh, currently 11. So let's connect um to 30 Charlie. Link to R E F zero three zero Charlie. Okay. It's a CQ CQ fe feature. Wait a little bit for um uh, traffic. V E three V E three Romeo Delta Zulu. How about red V E three C D C. So I'm hearing people currently right now calling. So we'll just wait a little bit till um, uh, the frequency is clear here. VE3 CDC, this is K0NNK. Can you get me a radio check, please? Just uh, got a new Skybridge hotspot here. Uh, K0NNK, VE3 CDC. Your audio is maybe a little bit hot, but other than that, you're uh, perfectly readable. Already good to know, yeah, you uh, turned up the um, uh, mic gain all the way up uh, for someone. Uh, they couldn't hear me quite well, and I didn't want to yell or anything, so I turned the mic gain up. Yeah, I need to uh, turn the uh, mic gain uh, down just a little bit back to uh, the normal audio levels. But, um, uh, yeah, just got this Skybridge hotspot uh, up and running that I got for free, uh, thanks to Bridgecom. And, um, uh, yeah, just set it up and I uh, got it working. Go ahead. Ah, very good. Uh, just curious what you're running on your end for a transceiver. I'm using the ICOM 705 here and uh, a program on my laptop called Doozy. And that's how I'm able to connect to uh, 
to all reflectors. Back to you. I am using the ICOM ID52. Very nice uh, that you got a uh, 705 over there. Very, very nice. Here. So I'll say 73 and we'll talk to you later. And I just got an XLX reflector of my own working. It's XLX311. And uh, we have a couple people on there if you uh, want to check it out. Uh, go ahead. Oh, very good. Uh, did you mind, uh, give me that info again? I got the XLX, but then just the numbers there. Uh, the E3 CDC. The numbers are 311311, XLX311, and our main module right now is Charlie. Go ahead. Not very good, XLX311, Charlie. Alrighty, well, I got that written down, and uh, I will check it out sometime. And who knows, maybe we can have a QSO again sometime. Uh, this uh, 030 Charlie is quite a very busy reflector, so I don't like to tie it up too long. But anyways, these 730s do it, and uh, yeah, your radio sounds good. Get care, and uh, hope to speak soon again. K0 NNK from VE3, Charlie's off the Charlie. There we go. I'm on there. So yeah, Skybridge Hotspot works just like any other NASA hotspot, except with a really cool screen. Um, this case is pretty cool. Uh, it's very fast. Like, I wouldn't mind changing the talk groups and stuff on this radio, or the rooms or reflectors on this radio. Uh, going through uh, the dashboard of this thing because it's going to be almost as fast as the radio. So, anyways, um, great hotspot. And yeah, let us know what your thoughts uh, in the comment section below. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Feel free to check out D Star XLX Reflector 311 Charlie. And um, if you ever want to talk to me. And we currently do not have YSF working very well uh, right now, but uh, we'll get it working here in the near future. So, with that, K0 on the K Clear.